So here is the front cover to Tenement. And here is the back cover right there. We have our creative team right there with uh, Jeff Lemire and Andrea Sorrentino, uh, Dave Stewart, Steve Wands, and editor Greg Lockhart. And so we have another horror story that is part of the Bone Orchard Mythos. Of course, this is published by Image Comics. So what we have here is a tenement building. We have some seven major characters. And here are our major characters. We have a young boy by the name of Isaac. We have his mother, Amanda, who is either a nurse or a doctor. We have Justin. He lives in the tenement with his mother, and he is a drug dealer. We have Felix, and Felix seems to be retired, it seems. He's an older gentleman in the tenement, and he, again, he, um, uh, through this issue, seems to be retired. So we have uh, Tanya here, uh, a musician, and we have Bob. Now, Bob lives in the tenement with his uh, wife, who is very sick, and they have a caretaker by the name of Lisa. But apparently Bob uh, is having... Uh, problems financially and is keeping it from his wife and he is doing things like gambling and uh, looks like he's in some trouble and then our last character is Gary Chan and he is a um, what appears to be a parking garage attendant and he lives in the tenement so what happens is all these characters um, are intertwined in this supernatural story that is occurring at the tenement. And that is basically the setup here in issue number one. Uh, you can see there's just strong multicolors um, here um, as far as the artwork goes. Um, you know, we see different characters interacting here and uh, don't want to really give too much of the story away it is the setup for an ongoing horror uh, story um, it was one thing that I found interesting it reminded me of a novel that had been published by Dean Koontz called 77 Shadow Street and the reason it reminded me of the novel is both both stories involve an apartment building complex. Both stories involve uh, people um, in the complex having to uh, interact and come together. And both stories have a supernatural angle. Um, so I just, uh, as I was reading Tenement, I was, I was reminded of that Dean Koontz book, which is one of my favorites. I thought it was a well-crafted book. And this series, Tenement, is looking to be very well crafted too so a uh, big shout out to jeff lemire i'm just really enjoying his stuff right now i'm very fortunate to be uh enjoying his phantom road series and a uh, fish fly series uh as i get to also enjoy the bone orchard mythos series so he's uh doing quite well in the comic industry and uh readers uh, like us are fortunate because these are some some pretty tight stories so i do recommend tenement i've i've recommended everything in the bone orchard mythos so far i uh, i think uh they're good good horse yarns and uh, very much worth your time and uh, the art uh, lives up to it so that is a, a strong recommendation from uh, me at uh, observations from the fence post so i appreciate you joining me i hope you enjoyed these videos please if if you're reading tenement please drop a uh you know a message and just let me know what you think of it um hit like and subscribe it, it does help and uh thank you very much again for tuning in to this video as always i like to end my videos with uh keep it between the ditches and peace.